been thinking a lot lately about what it means to be um, faithful and what it means to stand the test of time and to be consistent. Uh, I am blessed beyond measure by having um, a dad who is a faithful, steadfast person and a mom who is a, st a funny, faithful, steadfast person. I'm blessed. And that's how who I want to be. I want to be the kind of person that when I'm um, looking at my 50th wedding anniversary that I can say, hey, we did it. But I got to tell you too that I know some faithful, steadfast single moms and some amazingly faithful, steadfast single dads. And I know some people who um, had catastrophic things happen in their life, some of them by their own choice and who put things back together and by the grace of God became steadfast, faithful, amazing people. And that's what's so exciting about um, grace is that you get to start over and you get to say from this day forward, I am going to be you know, a follower. I am going to be faithful. And I was in a classroom um, recently and I was volunteering and the teacher came in and she was um, talking about something sad that had happened in the playground. Some, some kids were, you know, making wrong choices and being bullies. And this teacher went off on her kids in the most compelling, compassionate way. But she told these kids, this is what peer pressure does. Sometimes you make decisions when you're in groups that you would never make you know, on your own. These are good kids who made stupid, painful, hurtful decisions. And so I want all of you, she said this to her students, I want all of you to think about that it's never okay to be a jerk. It's never okay to make fun of people. It's never okay to um, not match your character with your behavior. And what you have to do is make the decision before you're in that situation, what kind of person you want to be. You know, when I was in junior high, I had a friend whose dad walked out, you know, shocked us all. It was horrible. We were sad and heartbroken. And I remember when it happened that some other adults came and talked to us all and sat us down and said, you know what? I know it feels like, you know, the rug's been pulled out from under you and, you know, you're looking around and how can this be? But we want you to know a couple things. One is that you need to put your faith in God, not in people, because people will, in fact, screw up and let you down. But we also want to let you know that there are people who make the decision to be faithful and to be consistent and to be true. And you have the choice to do so in your own life, to be the kind of person who's a stand-up person and who, who decides on the hard days to tough it out or who, you know, when life falls apart, decides to um, keep your faith intact and put it back together. And so I just wanted to encourage you today that those decisions that you make matter, first of all, and that you should want to be the person and character who people can, can count on, but also that your words matter, that that teacher speaking to her kids or that those um, other parents coming and talking to us, I remember it. And those words are important. And so the, the messages that we give each other matter too. And so if you've got vulnerable kids in your life, if you've got kids in your life, uh, speak truth to them. You know, tell them about what it looks like to be faithful and to be consistent. And be encouraged because you can do it. I've watched what character looks like in the lives of people around me. And uh, if you're a single mom out there, keep fighting the fight. Stand up for your kids. If you're a single dad, you know, do the things to show them what character looks like. If you are in a marriage right now, hold it together. You know, get help. Do what you got to do because those character moments matter. And the people are... You can do it.